الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ حیاکم اللہ A question was asked, and I've been asked questions similar to this many times, about establishing a workout regime, about exercising. And I think it should be inherent from the many times that we've discussed this, the, uh, the importance of taking time for yourself, having positive activities, uh, that that is something which is very important and it should be very important for us all to maintain our health to eat good food eat organic if you can if you can afford to do so it's not easy uh, eating good maintaining a good diet Maintaining time for your spiritual health. Meaning, making sure you're guarding the Salat. Make sure you're taking time to read something from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And to sit with Ahl al-Ilm. Jalus ma Ahl al-Khayr wa Sunnah. Try to sit with the people of the Sunnah. The people of Khayr. The people are going to remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And finally, the physical aspect. That we should take care of ourselves physically. physically. If you can hike, if you can take walks, if you're a jogger, if you're a runner, if you are a person who does uh, martial arts, If you are a practitioner of uh, shooting, shooting guns, shooting bows and arrows. The, uh, the bows and arrows is more physical, but those are positive activities that are help you to follow the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. But taking care of yourself through strength, lifting weights, stretching, being physically active, not letting yourself become obese, not letting yourself gain all of these sicknesses, bi'idnillah, if you're able to do so. That that's very important. And for me as a person, as an individual, that is a big part of who I am. That for me it's very important to be physically, mentally, and spiritually active. That I do not feel balanced and good if I'm just even only <clears throat> reading books and reading the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only that I need that for my person to have time to go out even if I'm walking and reading the Quran but I need to be moving I need to be active and for me it's also important I like I enjoy lifting weights I like and will, inshallah, when I can, get back and get try to get swole because that's what I love to do. And that is a part of my culture. And that is a part of our background. And it is important to us. And those things can help you in your Islam as far as defending yourself, defending your community, presenting yourself as you can defend your, your community, defending your wife, defending your wives, defending your children, defending whatever, that you are able to do that. That physical piece is very important. So, as I've said countless times, also for me, hiking the outdoors, as you see. So, I say to those who want to be fit in shape, I advise you to do so. I advise you to take care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually because that is the balance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us as human beings. When you are, of course, spiritually sick, it destroys everything. 
But if you are spiritually healthy, but you're physically sick, <clears throat> it can make your spirit, it makes it more challenging to do your ibadah. For example, if you're so obese, you have to pray in a chair and you're young in age. Or you have to pray sitting down or whatever the case may be. If it's due to obesity or if it's due to some other illness that may be out of your, your control. The point is, those things you're able to help, then you should help yourself by taking care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. And having that balance, which can help re reduce anxiety. Studies show that physical exercise helps to reduce anxiety. <clears throat> Being in the gym, like I said, getting swole, having those activities, they help to reduce anxiety. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and help us to be physically, mentally, and spiritually fit and pleasing to Him, pleasing to our spouses, pleasing to our families. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad. وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم